blizzard here. One of the most extensive, most intense blizzards I've ever covered. Just the feeling out here of helplessness, not being able to see anything, losing your sense of up versus down, the crippling temperatures, the wind chills, the bitter cold. If you get separated from your structure, you're not going to last long out here. It truly is a dangerous, life threatening weather emergency. We do have a problem. We have a people that are diabetic and an asthmatic that are stuck in their car back there. And I'm going to try to figure out a way to get them back.
historic blizzard continues to rage here across downtown Buffalo, leaving vehicles stranded in the middle of the road throughout downtown. So this vehicle is actually running, so people are inside there, and you definitely have to be careful that the exhaust pipe is cleared out. But definitely, you can see that visibility has dropped to near zero out here as uh, winds are gusting 60 plus miles per hour out here on the tip of the lake. It does look like the lake effect plume is beginning to sag just a little bit off to the south. But look at some of these drifts, about four or five feet in height that could be happening. And definitely wave heights in excess of 20 feet along the eastern tip of Lake Erie. That led to a sage event and that led to some flooding as well along the eastern tip of Lake Erie. Areas from Hamburg, Route 5, areas even up to the west of Niagara Falls had some big time flooding as well. But look at these scenes out here in downtown Buffalo as the peak of the blizzard continues to rage tonight. Max winds are starting to happen as well, and uh, definitely seats across downtown Buffalo look quite scary. Do you need a push? Uh, yeah, we might. I'll be right back. We're going to, they got asthma and diabetes, so we'll be right back in five minutes. Guiding them back. are stranded here. We helped out these people. Thank you. 